once you finish the admittedly sometimes trying and tedious job of soldering and taping up your contact mic, you can move on to the fun part, Plasti Dip. Let it dry for several hours. It dries very slowly. And sometimes it's useful to add a second layer. A third usually is too much. The first two layers tends to deaden the ping that many contact mics have in the upper mid-range frequency. It makes it stronger and it also makes it waterproof, which means you can use it as a hydrophone to do underwater recording. Uh, you can freeze it in ice, uh, you can eat it. So then the question is, what to amplify with the contact mic? And the answer is, try everything. That was a gift from David Tudor and John Cage. Uh, speaking of Cage and Tudor, a little Zen koan for us. What is the sound of one guitar string with no guitar attached? And the answer is rather unexpectedly low. Um, you might ask then, what would a low string, like a piano string broken by your son, sound like? Those of you who are employed in the Foley industry will immediately recognize what a powerful tool this could be. Brontosaurus, rat working at wall, who knows? 